Hi, this is Evan Freeman at Taylor Restaurant in New York City. Champagne cocktails are very popular, but how about beer cocktails? The Blood and Sand is a classic cocktail with a scotch base that's been modified with some sweet vermouth and a Dutch cherry brandy called Cherry Herring. It's very famous, found in another drink called a Singapore Sling. Then there's some fresh orange juice. Now in the classic cocktail, which is served shaken and up, the orange juice sort of gets lost. Here we sort of modify the orange juice and add a little bit of a modern touch with it that I think really brings out what's a great flavor in this drink, and that is the orange juice. But we're going to start at the core with the same ingredients that would be in the classic cocktail. Into a chilled mixing glass, we're going to put a dash of orange bitters, one ounce of sweet vermouth, and two ounces of scotch. Then we're going to add some ice and stir the base of the drink. I'm going to use my julep strainer to strain that into a chilled double old-fashioned glass. This is where the beer comes in. Again, in the classic drink, it uses cherry herring. So here I'm using a beer that's made up in Canada, and it's an ale that's brewed with cherries. It's not a candy sort of cherry flavor. It's a more intense sort of mellow flavor of cherries like you'll find in the cherry herring. And again, there's effervescence here, so it's going to lighten up that scotch. Just going to put approximately two ounces of cherry ale into the drink. And then for the most modern touch, we're going to add orange juice. But this is orange juice that's had a product called Versa Whip, which is a soy protein in it, and then whipped. So it actually becomes what I call an orange head because it's a dense foam that sits on top of the drink. And almost like the head of a Guinness, it travels through the drink with you. What's nice about it is that you really get that little bit of foam on your lips and you get that fresh orange flavor. So rather than the orange being lost in the drink the way it is with the classic, here it's really highlighted and becomes a nice acidic note at the end of the drink. Of course, I think it makes it look kind of pretty as well. But this is a modern take on what's really a classic cocktail and a little known classic cocktail using beer not only for its flavor but also for its effervescence. It's the blood and sand.